Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode here today for part 24 the Austrian Grand Prix our second sprint weekend of the season but before we get into the sprint this is your qualifying report so coming into qualifying then and off the back of a disappointing Silverstone we go very wide at the final corner and go into the final corner now and up to the line and we have put ourselves very slow and as we come to the end of Q of short qualifying we find ourselves in stone and dead last but we have found a little chunk of time into the final corner getting a little toe off those in front and we cross the line and we put ourselves into P16 World Champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position and Lando Norris lines up alongside looking at the rest of today's grid we have Sainz, Leclerc, Sergio Perez, and Fernando Alonso. Hamilton, Sonoda, Russell, and Daniel Ricciardo. Mick Schumacher, Magnussen, Alex Albon, and Ocon. Gasly, Stroll, Robert Schwartzman, and Guan Yu Zhou. Latifi, and Brown. So that P16 very much becoming a P20 disappointingly but we have 12 laps to make up for it. Here we go then to the sprint, there's 3, there's 4, there's 5 lights. Ruined away for the sprint and it's Red Bull being going off the front row. In the background maybe I'm waiting to send it to the inside, we're doing the inside this season. We went right around the outside last season and we've already passed several cars and our teammate at large stroll is slipstreaming us and we're slipstreaming the hearts ahead of us of Kevin Magnussen where we send it to the inside of several cars into that corner we've only actually getting one position we're side by side with George Russell we're just ahead of George and in the space of three corners we've gone from stone dead last to P10 going for the P8 if we want some points as we try to go to the outside of the McLaren and Lewis Hamilton and we've ended up losing out to the Mercedes of George Russell and now the two Mercedes there's Hamilton and Ricardo going wheel to wheel through the very very tricky left handers they're still going at it but the McLaren of Ricardo does stay ahead but it's skipping on the Mercedes have got ahead and now we're wheel to wheel with the Mercedes again and George has sent it on Ricardo and ripped in the cup back and now the slipstream in both of them and we've got a great run here going down into turn 4 down the inside nearly contact with 3 wide Ricardo's gone wide on the exit we have got Daniel Ricardo what have we? he's still there on the inside we go around the outside we've gone wide though further back, this is Albon's engine blowing up, Mercedes engine going bang in the sprint, right where Kevin Magnussen's engine went bang last season in the sprint as well and he pulls over and out of the race, he's got a big Sunday ahead of him, he's now still wheel to wheel, we've dropped back a little bit but here is George Russell on the back of his teammate looking for a move as we dive bomb to the inside we get past both Mercedes there and that's a great move maybe dodgy with some yellow flags but we've got both of the Mercedes and we are going into P9 and on the verge of one single point in the sprint if we can just get Daniel Ricciardo it's down the inside there's Kevin Magnussen around the outside Lewis Hamilton we've gone wide and it looks like we may have lost out to George Russell and he does get it so it's Valo Brett but we pull into his slipstream and out of his slipstream and think about it to the outside but we try now to set him up for the run up to turn 3 we're on the back we're going to pull to the outside we've got a lovely toe we pull to the outside and now we let him go wide we try and cut him back but we couldn't quite get the exit but now though DRS open, we're going to pull to the inside, we swap in the dummy into turn 4 and down the inside, George tries to hold around the outside 
and we get the job done. Hamilton's re overtaking Magnussen in the background. Now skipping on to further around the lap, and George is coming back at us as we run a little bit wide. And George gets us back, and we've gone wide, and our Hamilton's up our inside as we send it back on George into the final corner. Very dodgy there. But we get the job done. And look at them four, nearly three wide at the back. There's Slams going around the outside of Mick Schumacher. And now he's on the back of Magnussen. Let's pull a gap up from George just about. And now he's, there's Ocon going wheel to wheel with Lewis Hamilton. As there's now Lance trying to go around the outside and stay ahead of Magnussen. And he looks like he's got the job done. Ocon can't get Hamilton, but he takes back into the tie. And now he's back on the outside of Hamilton, trying to keep the pace. Hamilton forces him out and he has to back out. And this is an unbelievable sprint race back down the inside. Goes George on us and we try and keep it pinned around the outside. We go off the track. And now we're still there. We to me all in. Neither of us want to give up. Hamilton though. He's making it free wide into that first corner. George has to back out. Hamilton's had a matter tank slap and nearly drops it on the up. See off turn one. We've stayed ahead. And now Ocon is coming back at Lewis Hamilton. Land Lewis has sent it. He's done a massive dive bomb on his teammate going into that corner. Going into turn three. And now they're both side by side. This is allowing us to get away a little bit. They're not even bothering about Ricardo. He has gone. We're just trying to stay ahead of the two Mercedes. Is there still wheel to wheel? And it looks like Lewis has just got past George. But George isn't giving in to the wolf looking through his fingers. As they go wheel to wheel, it's still wheel to wheel. Hamilton just ahead though of George. George isn't backing down. And there's a spin. There's a spin and it's Esteban Ocon in the Alpha Tauri. What has happened to Esteban Ocon? He just dropped it on the exit. A bit embarrassing for him there. All on his own. No contact whatsoever. This is what it looked like from Lance Strong's on his point of view and he's just dropped it. On the exit of the corner. And now skipping on. This is Sergio Perez. Sergio Perez is awful for Red Bull and Perez. He's pulling over and out of the race after his engine has gone bang. This is Ocon recovering. Ocon has hit the back of the of the safety car on the well, the safety car was trying to let him through and he pulls off and he's out. And what a dramatic couple of laps that has been. We've lost two cars and the safety car period makes this happen leads from side from Leclerc and now it's put us right back in it. Into this we've now back on the back of Ricardo and we could get a point from the sprint now. And you bet we're going for it. We have nothing to lose. We're out of the points. So we might as well go for it. If we go through turn one and we're back under green flag racing. Lewis ahead of George. Lewis is going to slip between us. But we are very much planning the dive bomb on Daniel Ricciardo. And there we go down the inside of, of Ricciardo. And we nearly get Fernando. Then Yuki Sonoda. There and we've got Ricardo and now wheel to wheel with Yuki Tsunoda. We nearly get the back of Lando Norris as well, just up ahead. And round the outside of turn four, we're wheel to wheel with Yuki Tsunoda. We're still there and we've got the job done just about by the looks of things. And Yuki's gone wide and Ricardo slipped his way back through on both of us as we try and keep a pin round the outside. Tsunoda's lost out too. Hamilton as well. So now we pick up the kind of solution and send it down into the second to last corner. But we have gone to Narnia. They're on the exit so far wide. We do stay ahead. And as it's done, we are picking up a couple of points. P7 does two points as Ricardo tries to come back at us now. Just two laps to go. We force Ricardo wide. And that's okay for giving us a bit of time. But only for a couple of corners. As Ricardo's going back at us, he puts room on the grass and into the second to last corner. We've run a little bit wide again, and Ricardo tries to send it on the inside. But he's gone wide, he's gone very wide, and he's lost out now. 
nearly to Zenoda, who has lost out to Zenoda, and now nearly Lewis Hamilton, who plans an attack round the outside, and has been disrupted by his teammate, as they were three wide going into turn one there, just, what a move, what drama in the sprint race, if the actual race is like this, will go, will go home for the Red Bull Ring, very, very happy indeed, as we are getting away now, as Hamilton wheel to wheel, with Daniel Ricciardo, they're still side by side, into turn one, can Hamilton hold it round the outside, he's made contact with Carlos now before, but this time Ricardo hands on and Hamilton does gain that position. And we're at into P6 as this is Suki Sonoda coming at us into that corner. And he's nearly hit us. We have to go wide to avoid him at the final corner. And we are going to get our first point since Canada in the sprints. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And the smooth operator Carlos Sainz completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Lando Norris, Brown, Sonoda, Hamilton, Ricardo, and George Russell. Magnussen, Stroll, Mick Schumacher, and Latifi. Joe Ocon. Robert Schwartzman. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Pierre Gasly. Perez. And Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. From P20 to P6 in the sprint, we're doing a one stop medium onto the hard tyres. And we're looking at some good points potentially today. So we might as well just go for it. Be aggressive at the start and we'll deal with whatever happens later on in the race. As the lights go out, we are racing for the second time in Austria, this time for the real thing. As they're side by side into the first corner. And now we send it deep into the first corner. Lando Norris gain the position. We go over the grass. We probably should leave that, give that position back. But Lando has got the slip cream on us anyway. As we tap to the inside, nearly hit him. And we go to the inside of several cars. We've forced the Ferrari of Leclerc wide. And we are up into the top three. Very, very aggressive at the start by us. Maybe a bit dodgy. Leclerc now oh, is defending for his life. They're three wide going into turn four. Between Tonoda, Lando and Hamilton. And we are into P4. P3 then. Wow, they're side by side. And round the outside goes, goes Lando and Hamilton. And look at their cars. All so close together. And going to lap two, there is Leclerc going down the inside of Yuki Tsunoda. But he couldn't get the job done. And now the McLaren of Lando is on the outside of him. Lando's going to get the toe from the Alpine and it's going to drag him past the Ferrari. Hamilton in the background is putting pressure on it. As Lando did manage to get past it. Alpine as well, if we go wide and Lando gets the position from us, we are not giving up on this position, this would be our best result of the season, and we could potentially get our first podium, since Monza in the Alpine potentially, it's only lap 6, so let's not get ahead of ourselves, there's still 30 to go, but we are not giving up, I'm gonna, even if I have very bruised elbows, I am not giving up on this, as there was Lando trying to go round our outside and he's gone wide and Yuki Tsunoda's coming back at him and now Yuki's on the outside, is he going to break, break it around the outside? It looked like there may have been contact, we've gone wide, no surprise there but now we look to try and get away Yuki has stayed ahead of Lando as Ricardo now coming back at him around the outside Ricardo so it was Alonso then, Yuki Tsunoda found his way further back, it was Alonso who found his way through in the Alpine and he's found himself alongside us and down the inside and we hold it around the outside of him. There was Ricardo now gets a great run on, on the Alpine. And now to the outside, can he get the job done? Alonso tries to break later and he does there, we go wide. 
And now side by side with Cardo and Alonso. Who's going to give up going into turn four? Neither of them, I suppose. Ricardo locks up though. Trying to outbreak the Spaniard. And he has lost the position. His teammate's nearly there. And Ricardo did go on to re-overtake Alonso. So much action in this race. I've had to cut some of it out. As Ricardo goes through and passes and into P3. But we're not having that. I'm defending this like my life depends on it. Back down the inside we go. On Ricardo we get the place back. But Ricardo cuts us back. And now we have a lovely time with the DRS to slot ourselves back through past the McLaren. Now Ricardo we go wide, he cuts us back, he sends us to the shop there as we make a small mistake. And now with the DRS Ricardo has, we are going to have to do another dive bomb and we're not too bad at them. But down the inside we go, he goes very very wide as we force him wide and Ricardo and Lando sorry, slips his way through. And now Ricardo going on to the next lap, they're from two McLaren side by side. And lucky he's behind both of them. It's Lewis Hamilton down the inside. It's Ricardo on the outside. It's Lando. We've gone wide again. And Ricardo does rarely take his teammate. But Lando's still there. And it's Hamilton now. He's potentially on the inside of Lando. But he's too far back. Ricardo gets the move done. And he's actually sent it on us as well as got getting past his teammate. And round the outside, it's like we were with Lando a couple of laps ago. We've laughed from that, we've forced him farther wide. And down the inside goes Lando, he really took his teammate. And sends it on us. And now we have the slipstream to try and get him back. We have the DRS, he defends it inside, but he hasn't defended it enough. As we really take our teammate. He falls in wide and Ricardo slips his way back through. This is a great race. One of the best races so far in his career mode. To the inside goes Ricardo. And re really overtakes his teammate. Ricardo then back on the inside. He goes on that 15. And we keep it round the outside. And we stay ahead of now Lando. He's back side by side with his teammate. And in fact Ricardo... What about sending it on us? We go wide. But he's still side by side with his teammate. And what is going on in this race? The team, the Clarins in real life, haven't been anywhere near each other this season, let alone constantly battling for a place. As there's a lock of Orlando, and he's nearly gone straight into the side of his teammate there. As Hamilton is still lingering, there's Alonso further back as well. Also looking. Sonoda's fallen back, Leclerc has dropped like a stone through this battle as they nearly make contact. The team of clowns again, it looked like Lando had his big snap of oversteer there. The side by side, who's given up? Lando is ahead, nearly make contact again. Neither of them are giving up, maybe Baggy Wheels coming into the final corner there. There's no Hamilton, he's here to join the party. He goes to the outside. Of Ricardo and sends it round the outside. They've been battling each other that hard. We've got away just. And now the Mercedes is split the two of them. This is Lando going to our inside. We hold it round the outside. Is that a massive tank slapper? As he pits. So as Lando stays out, Hamilton pits, Ricardo pits. And now me and Lando are left battling away. He tries to go to the outside, we defend that. And if these, those in the pits can get a good strategy underway, they may be able to jump us. We're battling hard. To the outside goes Lando Norris, but he's too far back. But he may have a look into turn four. He may be close enough if he can get the exit, but he couldn't. And on the end of lap 17, we come into the pits make our one and only stop of the day. It's been purple time to perfection. And we're going to go into the hard tyres. And coming down the pit straight now is Lewis Hamilton. Have we beat out the British driver, the Mercedes driver? And we're going to come out side by side and he's just, just beat us out. And Leclerc's gained some places there. Get 
both of them have jumped both of the McLarens as we send it back down the inside of Lewis Hamilton. And we've not given up on this podium. We've got battered elbows, our brains are battered, but we're still carrying on to try and keep this podium. Down the inside we go on Lewis Hamilton, we force him while Charles Leclerc slips his way through after falling back earlier on in the Grand Prix. Now he's carved his way back through with, I don't think they say this as he goes wide, and Hamilton re-overtakes him. There's some great strategy by Ferrari as he is defending off the McLaren and he did lose out to the McLaren and the other McLaren as well and now to the inside goes Hamilton we hold it around the outside it's like 20 years 16 to go and we're still hanging on you can see the gap the top two Verstappen and Sainz 30 seconds up the road that's just how hard and how slow this Aston Martin is and how much we have been defending we've gone wide Hamilton another lovely slipstream I know some drivers would give it I'd call it a day because these guys are quicker but I'm not that guy it's now three wide they go into into turn three we've gone wide and Hamilton's gone ahead Ricardo's fallen back and George is in the mix as well Hamilton really overtakes us though as we go back down the inside of him into turn 4 and Ricardo's gone wheel to wheel with George and his dive bombed Hamilton and they've both got free as Ricardo and now Ricardo's on the back of us and they've gone wide and Ricardo's found a chance to go down the inside at that second left hander and now we're side by side and he's just got ahead but we're still on the inside and we are going to force him wide and now the Mercedes looked like he was going to have a look but he hasn't and side by side Lando gets the job done but we force him wide and now the McLaren's coming back at us again and this time Lando gets the job done or so he thought but down the inside we go force him wide and that is the Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton slotting his way past the McLaren and nearly getting us as well and he has got us in fact as we send it yet again down the inside into turn 4 but we've locked up, we've gone wide Hamilton cuts his back an absolute treat, George has found his way past Lando as we force him wide this is George in fact wheel to wheel, we force George wide Hamilton, oh nearly hits the back of George as George goes to our inside now at turn 1 we hold around the outside, there's so much going on in these race, it's so hard to keep track of where everyone is. We stay ahead though, what can we say, there's a George Russell, Leclerc is in the mix there as well. As we're on the back and George has made a mistake and George has gone wide. And now Leclerc for fighting his way back through, he may have had a chance there, but he hasn't. And now Hamilton back down the inside of Charles Leclerc and he got that job done. And now this is George on the back of us again. Have like a little look. As we might have an issue with the engine. Oh no. We've defended so hard. Please. Please just let it be a glitch in the system. As we are battling with George Russell. And we send it again. Down the inside. We're not giving up on this podium. We are going to push and push and push until we can't push anymore. And into that corner, and no! We were fighting so, so hard to keep the podium, but the engine has gone bang on us. And that feels like all that battle was a complete waste of time. So, so annoying. I feel like there's an agenda against us. So annoying. A fantastic team effort then to secure victory here in the Styrian Alps. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? 
I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they've secured here. So that's been your Austrian Grand Prix then, it was looking so good for so long, but the engine had to go bang, and I feel like we're being sabotaged or something, every time we're on for a good result, something happens to us, and that race actually reminded me of the Mexican Grand Prix in the final season of our F1 2021 Williams RTG, when we spun, fought our way back through, we got ourselves in a title winning position and the engine went bang, but this was so much more important than that because that's the most competitive the car has been so far this season we are ahead of Stroll though but we could have 15 more points with pulled a cap on Alfa Romeo thanks to us Lance did nothing that weekend but I hope you enjoyed this video I could have cried after that engine blew up and I was so annoyed I could have left the team so frustrating I was so annoyed I kept it realistic stayed with Aston Martin you can see it was the MJ UK that went bang and that's been the Austrian Grand Prix such a good race for the sprint and the actual race it was just a shame the way it ended but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in front goodbye